What is up everybody, Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. Right now, uh, Hurricane Florence is going on here in North Carolina. Not too bad where I live. I actually live about three and a half hours from the coast, so not really affecting me too much. You know, just some winds and rain. Nothing too crazy, no flooding or anything like that. The coast actually got destroyed. Um, so, that's unfortunate. You know, I, I wanna go check it out afterwards and see because actually have some land over on the beach area right where the hurricane hits so it's probably not a good thing but today's video i want to talk about why i quit going to school so as most of you know i'm 17 i just finished my junior year previous year well spring of this 2018 and now i am a senior and no i haven't really talked about my schooling situation much right now i know uh, for you guys that have been following me for a while you know i always you know talked about school how i didn't like it why it was holding me back and now I finally made the decision. I got to where I wanted to be. I'm in online school. So I'm a senior now. I only have three classes. Uh, that's probably one of the reasons why my parents actually let me do it. So during the summer, I, you know, I kept trying to convince my parents I need to do online school. I need to do online school. And my reasoning behind it was like, look, you know, I'm spending so much time here at school. If I was just given my work, I could get it done fast and then get into actually, you know, working a lot more, building my businesses and traveling. You know, now I can travel and work from anywhere. And they continue to say, you know, no, you know, it's not for you. You know, come on, just one more year, go and do it. So then I was like, all right, whatever. I went to school. I emailed my counselor at my school, the person in charge of whatever and I was like look I want to do online school I want to come in talk to the principal and everybody and figure out what I need to do in order to get there and she's like all right come in whatever this day I go in the principal's there the director you know all the important people they're talking to me about online school why I want to do it and what options they have and I was like all right this sounds good to me let's do it and then she's like all right we need your parents to come in now and sign and talk about it. I was like oh man that's gonna be rough so I came home, I told my parents, I'm like, look, I just talked to my school about online. I have three classes I have to get done, so let's go in next week, we'll figure it out and get it all taken care of, and we'll be good to go. So, you know, at first they're like, yeah, I don't really wanna do that, you know, I still think you need to go for that one last year. And then eventually I convinced them, I took them into the school, and even the counselor at the school who's in charge of the online and stuff, she's like, this is probably the right fit for Tanner, you know, he has a lot of business stuff going on, he needs this extra time in order to achieve his goals. You know, a school is something, you know, he's not going to college, so he doesn't really need to, you know, spend all his time school and doing all the college admissions and, you know, all that random stuff that's not really for me, you know. If you want to go be a doctor, you know, study, get good grades, go to college, you know, get your degree and go become a doctor. Uh, but for me, I have a different goal and different vision. So really, one of the reasons, I'm gonna give a few reasons of why I quit going to actual school. Um, one, the biggest is just time, you know. Um, time is really the only thing we have and nothing we can get back for that. So I would really like to utilize my time as best as possible and that's why I switched to online school because I was spending eight hours a day at school and then having to get home and do homework and all the other stuff just wasn't for me. Uh, the second reason I would say is just the people, you know, the environment I was in. Uh, I have no personal hates or anything against specific people, but when it comes down to it, there's a lot of people that are just like holding me back. Um, I wouldn't say in like a full, like holding me back, like I couldn't achieve a goal because of them is really just like being around that, you know, people say you become who you hang around. So me hanging around all these people who like getting good grades, who just do stupid stuff uh, all day, every day, you know, that just wasn't for me. I started to adapt to that. Um, I wasn't getting in trouble. I never really get in trouble at school, but it was just the environment being in of people who weren't motivated as the same goals as me. You know, now with online school, I'm able to travel and be around more people like myself. You know, I'm going to New York City, I'm going to the Build Your Empire event in Arizona to speak uh, with other entrepreneurs. So that's the environment that I like to be in. I don't like to be in an environment of people that aren't like me at all with no similarities. So I would say the other reasonings would just have to be personal preference. You know, I'm an introverted person. You may think I'm extroverted by the videos, but when it comes down to it, I'm actually an introvert. You know, I really just like to keep to myself, do what I have to do, and, you know, achieve specific goals. So I'm glad that I left school and now I do online school. I'm still gonna graduate. I actually only have to do online school for a few months. I end in December and then I turn 18, so I'll be free to move out, um, you know, continue building my businesses. Since I started online school, it's been about a month now. I've really been able to progress my businesses and do a lot more than I was able to do before. I'm able to spend more time on it, but one thing I've been trying not to fall into is just, you know, not utilizing my time the wrong way. Uh, because, you know, if you switch to online school to start your businesses or, you know, continue building your businesses, it can either go good or it can go bad. You can sleep in all day, you can waste your time and just sit at home all day, 
or you can utilize it the right way and schedule your day, set the tasks up for your day and finish them and achieve different goals to get to the next level. So those are the reasons of why I switched to online school and why I don't go to school anymore. Just a quick video and overview and guys, I wanna know, so most of you know I have Next Generation E-Commerce, that's my program where I teach people about marketing and e-commerce overall and I have different other young entrepreneurs speaking in it, 70 plus videos. It'll be in the description if you want more information, but I want to feature more people. That's one of the things. I wanna feature more people on and on. So let me know in the comments below. I wanna know any young entrepreneur that has a specific skill set, put their name below as well as what they do and maybe I'll fly them here to the warehouse, we'll film videos and uh, you know build some content for the course. So I'm super excited for the future and everything I got going on, guys. I'm excited for you guys uh, to see everything I'm doing, you know, posting every day again on YouTube, something I'm just trying to get back into a habit of doing since I have this time now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.